So this will be a little bit of um, uh, test and trial. We do have a virtual meeting today. So we have <laughs> folks who are in the room and hopefully you can see them with um, our little owl camera slash microphone. Um, for those of you who are online, if you have a hard time hearing, please put it in the chat. We do have Aaliyah. She is um, our program assistant in our office. She is monitoring the chat remotely for us and we'll be recording the sessions. Um, we'll get all of the information out um, prior or post this meeting, um, probably sometime yet this week, we hope to put the recorded sessions on our website. So a little housekeeping there. Um, as I mentioned, we have a room full of folks online. And then of course our, our time here um, after this meeting, uh, we'll adjourn and start our annual rural health conference. So I want to welcome each and every one of you. I'm Jill Osterley. I am the Director of Provider Solutions. I help manage the RHC network, along with our wonderful board. And my clicker's not working, so give me just a second. Um, along with our wonderful board. So we do have a, a number of people in the room with us today who help manage the RHC network. For those of you who are new, we are uh, Michigan's RHC network for the state. We're part of the State Office of Rural Health, um, but we have a host of absolutely wonderful um, RHC board members. So we have Keisha Sexton, who is um, the practice manager out at Northern Pines. Um, we also have Vice President Wendy Langworthy from McLaren. Um, and then we have a couple of member representatives. I know Laura Green, shout out to you. You are online with us today. We have Ruin. Vanderbeen in um, the room with us, as well as Tammy Wall and then Sandy Witt from, from Attica. So Sandy and Wendy are still a little bit new, so they're still getting their feet wet. Um, I do want to give everybody an update. Um, our group met um, in March. We worked for about six hours on our strategic plan. Um, we are wrapping up our strategic plan that we did previously. I know it doesn't seem like we were on a strategic plan, but we were. Um, COVID kind of messed that up for us. So we are a little off track, but amazingly, we still accomplished a lot over the last five years. Um, so this group met in March. Uh, we looked past or looked um, in the past and looked at our previous strategic plan, plan, but then we also took a look in the future and to say, what is it that we want to do? What is it that we're looking to accomplish with this network? What is it that all of you need? Uh, what's important to you? Um, surprisingly, one of the things that I want to share with you um, that came out of this is. Um, twofold. One, um, when we talked about brainstorming ideas um, and really took um, the time to do some idea mapping, I'd have to say probably on the board, would we say 150 little stickies oh, at yes. least? Um, I asked them when we, when we looked at our different categories to take a look at what the resources are, what our data, our people, and our infrastructure and to kind of help come up with ideas that we hadn't done well or that we wanted to do. The majority of the things that were on there um, were around revenue cycle, around billing and coding, around optimization, around kind of care management, um, so on and so forth. So as we put this together, we still have a few things to work through. We'll be getting that out to the membership as a whole. Um, we'll certainly um, want your feedback on, again, what's important to you, where we take the network and how we continue to support um, the RHCs in Michigan. So a huge thank you to the board for spending time with me that day. Um, it, it, it was wonderful um, to be able to connect and brainstorm, but it was also just a great time to peer network. So a big thank you to the board. A couple of other announcements, our RH network meetings. Um, our next one is June 11th. Um, it is from two to 4 p.m. or It is two to 4 p.m. Um, the very next day, we'll be having our practice manager workshop, so I'll give that a little bit more information. And then our last one for the year will be November 13th. That one will be virtual, um, and we'll be sending those notice out, notices out a little bit closer to, um, to the event itself. So as I mentioned, we do have our practice manager workshop. Um, we have <laughs> at least one of our, both of our hosts here. Um, so, of course, um, year after year, we continue to count on um, Health Services Associates, HSA, um, Tressa and Michelle to bring us content around regulation compliance um, and operations. So we're throwing some operations in there more and more. We're talking about some of those soft skills. 
They'll be hosting the event on the 12th. It is an all day event. In person is 125, virtual is 100. So we'll be doing that hybrid event again this year. Um, so if you haven't registered, um, we have put that out in our bulletins. We have that on our website. Please go out and register. It's gonna be a fantastic um, full day entourage and information. So. <laughs> Um, the other thing I want to remind folks of, and I put this out in our um, in our bulletins too, um, when we talk about revenue cycle, LilyPad, we partner with them. We do have the LilyPad platform that's available for anybody who wants to use it with quality metrics, as well as some financial information about your or about your actual clinic and your cost report and some data. They're hosting an RHC revenue cycle of best practices at 1 p.m. on June 10th. Um, that Invite should be going out here shortly, and I will continue to push that information out if you don't have the connection information already. Let's make sure I don't have any questions in the chat, and I don't. Again, if you have any questions, um, feel free to put it in the chat. We do have Aaliyah monitoring that for us. And then um, I want to highlight some work we've been doing um, here in Michigan. Uh, the State Office of Rural Health, oftentimes when people think of rural and want to do work in rural, they come to the State Office, which is a great problem to have. Um, but it also benefits the clinics here in Michigan. We have a new project that we've been working on for about six months now, and it's from the National Kidney Foundation of Michigan. Now, when you think of chronic kidney disease, we know many of our primary care practices um, do have patients with chronic, care, uh, chronic kidney disease. Um, but you may not necessarily do any in-depth work within your clinics. However, um, when you think of your large population of diabetic patients and your hypertensive patients, oftentimes those two diagnoses absolutely play into chronic kidney disease. So we've been partnering with the National Kidney Foundation um, since October of this last year. Uh, we worked on a planning phase. We worked on some collection of baseline data around the state, where is chronic kidney disease prevalent? Where are the screening numbers in terms of screening for chronic kidney disease lower than they should be? Um, we moved into some recruitment and recruited some clinics. Um, we actually have Wendy, where'd you go? Wendy, down at the end, thank you. <laughs> um, Wendy, a couple of her clinics um, are participating in the collaborative. And then we also have Hills and Bales, um, or Aspire now, um, and a couple of their clinics are participating. Um, it's been really good work. Um, we're excited about the content that we've been able to provide the clinics um, to be able to shed some light on the chronic kidney disease screening processes, the labs, education for the providers. Um, and we have the providers involved. So we meet collaboratively once a month. And then we also meet individually with the clinics monthly um, as well to kind of um, break down some barriers and talk about some challenges and be able to provide information. Um, so we'll hold a few more meetings yet. Um, we'll be finishing up the project by the end of September. Um, but additionally, um, we were doing such great work that the National Kidney Foundation decided to give us some more money. Um, so we'll be taking the show on the road, um, <laughs> and es essentially. We'll take the show on the road and we'll be visiting clinics um, in probably June, in late June, July, and August. Um, to be able to just come out, provide education, provide support to the clinics, uh, provide some of the basic screening processes you should have available in your clinic, um, et cetera, et cetera. Um, we'll be doing some um, dis distribution of materials um, that we'll be getting from the National Kidney Foundation, um, making some one minute videos to be able to share with your patients and your providers, et cetera. So another great project we were able to um, get some funding for it, put some funding into the clinics and really uh, take some staff resources and walk the clinics. So that's what I have for updates. Any questions? Awesome. Well, we're gonna kick off our first presenter with Tressa. Of course, Tressa is amazing.